So previously we talked about how to do multiple regression at the first level. At the second level it's a similar idea, but now we have things like contrast, we have things like betas, and if we have covariates or measurements about the subjects usually taken you know, outside of the scanner, like a, a, say a questionnaire for example, assessing their anxiety level, some sort of trait, uh, could be a personality trait, could be something like their age, but we want to see is there some sort of statistically significant correlation between that covariate and the value of a contrast? Okay. Any contrast you want, um, you know, some contrasts are obviously more reasonable to test with certain covariates than others. Okay. So in SPM what we would do is from stats you would open this up and the design would be multiple regression. Okay. Now I already have all this filled out, loaded in, just to save time. But So for scans, I would only select the contrast that I'm interested in. In this case, I've just selected 10 subjects from a study randomly and just randomly selected a contrast. But we have 10 subjects here, and for these covariates, these are the measurements that we want to see if they correlate with the value of these scans, right? Or all these contrasts that we loaded up. So for the vector, that's the value of these measurements. So let's say this first covariate was something like anxiety. So I, I had the subjects fill out a questionnaire, I coded it, and I came up with some quantitative measurement of their anxiety level, just how anxious they are in general. And this vector is again 10 numbers, one per each of those scans that I specified, just matching up with each of those subjects. So I have one contrast per subject and each of these covariates I'm also going to have one value per subject. Just make sure that they match up. So if this first anxiety score is a 3 then I make sure that that matches up with this that this is actually corresponding to this first subject that I listed here with this first uh, contrast. Okay, And I can have as many covariates as I want. Let's say I also have something like age. So I just asked and recorded all the uh, subjects' ages, and all, again, a vector of 10 numbers, one per subject, and make sure that they match up. Okay? The rest of the defaults are fine. Uh, intercept is usually fine as a default, unless you already have a, a certain constant effect. And cent centering is also usually good to just have that center to the overall mean. So when I run that, I'm going to see something like this. I'm going to have these two columns, one for each of those covariates that I specified. Okay, and if I, you know, if I left click here, this is going to show the the mean centered value of the covariate, right? So that's you know it already gets taken to, into account if I specify that in SPM. Okay, that's why these these values look a little bit different if I point and click my mouse over them. All right, so if I go ahead and estimate that just so that I can run the, the contrast. Because I want to show you, you know, how I would interpret it if I ran this and then did some contrast and tried to make some sense out of the whole thing. So select results, select that estimated dot mat file. And again, if you can't remember which of these columns is your covariate, just go ahead, right click on them, drag it across, hold it down, and you can see this was one, one was anxiety, this one was age. Those are my covariates, cool. So, if I wanted to test for something like, is there a positive correlation between anxiety and the value of my contrast? I would just give a weight of 1 to that column right there. Okay? Likewise, I could also test for the same thing with age. Let's say I want to see if there is a negative correlation between age and that contrast for whatever reason. My contrast vector would be 0, 1. Okay? And just make sure that you actually have that over your covariate of interest. So, uh, let's say I'm interested in anxiety, a positive correlation between that and the value of my contrasts. So, this is again totally random. Okay, nothing here really passes, but let's say that the, one of these clusters actually did pass correction. I would then say there appears to be a positive correlation between that covariate, in this case anxiety, and the contrast that I specified. So, really, that in a nutshell is how you do multiple regression at the second level. Now, I also want to point out that identically, <laughs> this is the sentence is going to sound weird. I already started, I couldn't really stop. Identically, it's the same thing. That's just a weird thing to say. 
I should just say it's the same thing if you just select, say, one sample t-test, load the same contrast that you would before, and then add the covariates just as we did when we selected them within multiple regression. Now, I like this option a little bit better. It's a little bit more flexible and more intuitive because I can select any design I want, like a two-sample t-test. You know, I can select a flexible factorial, and I can still have my covariates if I think that they're going to, say, account for some kind of variance, or if I think that they, you know, are going to have some correlation in a certain direction with a certain effect or a certain contrast value. So I'd recommend doing that instead. So that's how you do multiple regression at the second level in SPM. I hope it helps out, and I'll see you guys next time.